he thought he was going to get his head cut off. But David came looking for him to bless him because of his dad's sake. He was highly favored and never knew that he was going to be highly favored. But can I tell you something? You and I are highly favored, not because of who we are, but because of our heavenly Redeemer, Jesus Christ, King of kings and the Lord of lords. Now look at me. Hear me. Hallelujah, because this is good. Bless the Lord. David came looking for somebody to bless. And can I tell you something? The Lord came, comes looking to pour out favor upon his people in the name of the Lord Jesus. But look at me. We've got to accept it. I said we've got to accept it in the name of Jesus. How many in here has ever been around maybe some people and somebody say, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm just doing it. Anybody ever do that? Been around somebody like that? I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm doing it. But you say, I know why, I'm, why you're doing it. It's because of the favor of the Lord God. Can I tell you something? Many of you, and hear me, have got favor with the outside world. Listen, because God has placed you in positions, hallelujah, to be favored. Listen, to be testimonies of the glory and the power of God Almighty. Hear me. God don't shower favor on us just for our own purpose, but he showers favor upon us, hallelujah, so that we might be a blessing to somebody else in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can somebody say amen? amen. Boy, this is an unusual service. How, it's good to talk to people face to face instead of having a set over here, a set there, and a set way back there. It's good to be right here. Bless the Lord forevermore. But God's good and God is gracious in the name of the Lord. And I say this, God, I thank you for the divine favor that you give to the body of Christ here at Harvest Field in the name of Jesus. Listen to Proverbs 3, 1 through 4. My son, forget not my law, but let your heart keep my commandments for length of days and long life and peace shall they add to you. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them about your neck. Write them upon the table of your heart. So shall you find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Now look at me. You know that, pro that that's a conditional promise? We're to keep, listen, the commands of the Lord. How do we keep the commands of the Lord when nobody, can, nobody has lived up to the commands of the Lord but one person? His name is Jesus. As long as we keep our relationship clean with the Lord, look at me, God will shower down favor upon you. Hallelujah. How many in here need a job? You want a job. How, well, let me put it this way. How many in here are satisfied with the job that you've got? Fred? Fred? <laughs> How many would like to have a different job, but you're thankful for the one that you've got? Come on. How many would like to have different hours, Brock? Don't you? I believe God can do these things. I seriously believe God can shower favor down and do these things. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Why? Because of the favor of God Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Now, how many like to have an increase in your pay? That ain't going to happen. <laughs> no. But, you know, that's what we think in our understanding. But if God showered favor down upon Joseph and blessed him in jail, don't, he think, don't you think he can bless you right where you're at? Come on, church. We serve a God. Hallelujah, of abundance in the name of Jesus. Bless the Lord. And he can shower down favor in Jesus' name. You see, hear me. Bless God. All we need is the favor of the Lord. When, I go, when you go in before an employer or what have you, to ask for a raise or bless God, not even ask for a raise, but the favor of the Lord move upon them and say, you know what? 
we've seen honesty, we've seen truthfulness, we really have confidence, we've seen your faithfulness in what you do, and we see confidence in you, we want to promote you. Would that be all right with you? We want to promote you up to a higher level. Can that happen? It has happened to people. Bless God. Well, I'm a nobody. That's all right. God likes to take the nobodies and make somebody out of them. In the name of the Lord Jesus. He likes to promote people. Hear me, child of God. Yes, we might start down here, but as long as we maintain our fellowship with the Lord God, hallelujah, look at me, God knows how to shower down favor upon us to bring us up. Hallelujah, hear me. I don't know about you, but I know where I come from. I come from, across, uh, from the wrong side of the track. And you know what, the, what, what our superintendent told me? me here's what his 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 advice was to me he said you will never mount to anything but a garbage man and you know what there's money in garbage they always have a job because there's always garbage hear me bless the lord my brother-in-law jack used to attend church here hear me he went up the ladder in the garbage business he was a head honcho over all lime a garbage don't tell me God can't shower favor where you're at in the name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody say amen. amen. I said he can shower down favor wherever you're at. The thing of it is, we just got to be like the Lord, allow the Lord, bless the Lord, and say, God, hallelujah, give me favor in the name of Jesus. Give me favor with my employer. Give me favor in this situation. Some of us have got to make decisions in the very near future. And I'm telling you what, listen, some of those decisions might be vitally, vitally important. And you need the mind of Christ and say, God, give me the favor in making this thing in Jesus' name. Come on, am I speaking to anybody here tonight? Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb. So I guess we're on the right track, amen? I said, I believe we're on the right track in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bless the Lord. There might be some move change. There might be some, some changes here, there, or whatever. But understand me, whatever... The the change is, if you're a child of God, it's for the good and not for the bad. Now, because something bad might happen, doesn't mean God's still not going to shower favor to you. Remember, before Joseph was, was, was elevated, he was hated by his brothers. They wanted to kill him. They threw him in jail. He went to prison because of his his honesty and his truth. Hear me. But then God highly favored him in the end. That's why I say, let us hear the conclusion of the matter in the name of the Lord. Some would say, oh, that church over there at Scott. There are just a few handful of people over there. They don't amount to much. But can I tell you something? We are highly favored of God Almighty. And when you've got the favor of God, hallelujah, that's all that counts in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Praise the Lord. So those, listen, that have decisions, you're making decisions. You'd like to have a better paying job? Or maybe you want to get rid of something, a house? Hello? God can do that. You want to sell a car? God can do that. Come on, folk. That's right. What is it that you want God to do? Bless the Lord. Didn't he say in his word, ask me, especially of things to come, and he said, I'll show you. We're to ask the Lord in faith, believing in the name of Jesus, that God give you favor. Right where you're at in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb. What is it that you want God to do? And ask Him for His favor to rest upon you and this situation and this decision that you're making in Jesus' name. Let's lift our hands towards heaven right now. Hallelujah. Only you know. Only you know. Bless the Lord. Jeremy, wait a minute, just a second. Jeremy, look where you come from. 
And look at the favor that God has placed upon your business because of your honesty and your integrity. You got so much business, you don't know how to handle all of it. And, 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 you, and a lot of times you're thinking, you know, I remember back where you was, you was wondering, where in the world am I going to go? What am I going to do? How am I going to make it through? I've got kids to, to, to take care of and this, that, and the other. And all, all of a sudden, hear me, you got so much business, you don't know what to do with it. Hear me. Can I tell you something that's called favor? Favor in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just an example of what I'm, what I'm trying to say. Bless the Lord. And God wants to shower favor on every one of us in Jesus' name. Now let's pray. Father, God, we lift our heart and we lift our voices unto you tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you and I praise you, God. Hallelujah, for the favor of God that rests upon us, upon your people, and the decisions that they make, God, in the very near future, in the name of the Lord. I pray, my Father, for those, God, that are looking for increase in their job position. God, I thank you, and I praise you for the favor of the Lord that rests upon them in Jesus' name. And Lord, if they're trying to sell something, I thank you that already you're putting favor in somebody's heart and somebody's mind in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that that come into fruition, God, throughout this year, in Jesus' name, let it be. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you for the favor of the Lord to flow forth in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Now look at me. How many can say I'm thankful? Say it with me. I'm thankful that I'm highly favored. Don't that sound familiar? We're just about ready to come into the Christmas season when an angel by the name of Gabriel come to a young little, young virgin and said, Mary, you are highly favored. Man, can I preach here tonight? (laughs) Mary, you are highly favored. Hallelujah. Can I say, child of God, you are highly favored tonight. Don't listen to the lies of the devil. Hear me. You once was on the losing side, but now you're on the winning side and you've got favor with God Almighty in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank God this church is highly favored in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us hear the conclusion of the matter. If God has showered favor on this church, we're going to see a mighty move of his Holy Spirit in this end time dispensation. Hallelujah to the Lamb. And can I tell you something? Hear me. For years, I've been asking God to give me favor with the people of Scott. Scott is a hard city. It's like Chicago. Hear me. It's a hard city. If you stop and look, there's not too many people in here from Scott. They're come from all over. Few from Scott. But I believe because we have anchored ourselves in this area and we have sown seed in this Scott despite difficulties and circumstances, God is going to highly favor us where we start seeing the families of Scott come into this house, hallelujah, and bow a knee to the Lord Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. I remember when we first come over here, we used to hold tent meetings out there on the basketball court of, uh, in Scott. And one of, the, one of the, the, the preeminent men of Scott Mr. Pond, I remember going into Virginia's to get a a broom to sweep up the basketball court. 
to uh, clean it up and get it ready for tent revival. And I remember him saying this to me. Preacher, you think you're going to clean that up? And I remember the response I give to him. I said, I not only want to clean this up, but I want to clean this town up as well by the presence and the glory of God. Boy, that didn't set well. Didn't set well. Hear me. But can I tell you something? I'm believing for the favor of God. Hallelujah. God didn't send us over here to Scott for no reason at all in the name of Jesus. And I believe we're going to see many coming out of the Scott area in Jesus' name. And everybody said amen Amen. and amen. And not only just Scott, but the surrounding areas as well. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. But can some would say, I wonder how long that preacher is going to last. How many years have we been here? 28? 30? I don't think they're saying that any longer. Hear me, but I thank God for the favor of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You've got favor in your family, even though it might not look like it at the time, but look at me. Let us hear the conclusion of the matter. God can turn situations around, bang, just like that. And some would say, that's impossible with my family. No, nothing is impossible with God. I've seen it more than one time. I've seen it many times. And can I tell you, he can do it again and again and again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can we give him a hand clap of praise in the name of the Lord? (laughs) Hallelujah. Now, how many is thankful for the favor of the Lord? I trust that edified you a little bit because it did me. I could sit here and preach a little longer but I don't need to do that because I know that you know the favor of the Lord rests upon you no matter where you're at or what you're doing because you love Jesus you love Jesus don't let the devil tell you anything but hear me child of God hallelujah you are highly favored can you turn to your right or left and tap somebody on the shoulder and say you're highly favored would you do that you're highly favored in the name of the Lord Lord. Now I'm going to ask you to sit down for just a few minutes while we take our tithes and offerings. <laughs> You're highly favored. Bless God. Go ahead and take it up, Joe. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. While they're taking that up, let me say this. I'm not going to preach to you any longer, but keep uh, uh, John and Kristen's family in prayer. Bless the Lord. We're believing for their salvation. Hallelujah to the Lamb. I thought there was going to be some hands raised in the name of the Lord Jesus, but only God knows. Amen. I said only the Lord God knows. Hallelujah to the Lamb forevermore. And uh, I don't know, John, is that your your dad's wife? Is that his wife or girlfriend? She was horrified. She was horrified horrified sitting in here you could tell by looking at her face I mean she was just when they're going to bring the snakes out in this place (laughs) but understand something that's the presence of the Lord probably never been around that before never been in a lively church before because as soon as the singing started she was gone (laughs) I pray to God that God get a hold of their heart in the name of the Lord Jesus Jesus Christ, they know they got a hold of something this morning in Jesus' name, and we're believing, hear me, hallelujah, for that family to come into salvation knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ as well as other families in Jesus' name that we've been praying for. And everybody said, amen. Amen. Why? Because we're highly favored. We're highly favored in the name of the Lord. Look at me. We're a peculiar people. Anybody say, you're a strange people? You're a strange person you should say I know it (laughs) I know it the Bible says I'm peculiar bless the Lord I'm highly favored of the Lord that peculiar means that you're highly favored of the Lord something special about you in the name of Jesus 
Praise God. I'm going to ask you to stand your feet one more time. If you would, please bless the Lord. I'm going to release you. I'm going to ask my wife to close us in prayer if she would.